What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Builds and we're going to be talking about a 2022 Hyundai Ioniq 5 rear drive SE package. We're gonna be reviewing exterior, interior, and some specs about this exact car and some minor differences between each package. But before we start, please subscribe, like the video. Special, special shout out to Hyundai of Roseville here in Roseville, California, right outside the greater Sacramento area. And if you have any car you'd like us to review, here's our email below. Email us and we can talk details later. Let's go ahead and start. So starting this review off with this beautiful front end. Now guys, I want you to get a load of this that there's gonna be some differences that we're gonna see that Hyundai brought to this car and that is the whole exterior of the car. Also the interior, but we're gonna be talking about that later in the video. But take a look at this beautiful black on this hood. Now keep in mind, no fenders, right? You usually typically have a right and a left fender on cars, but this is fender integrated into the hood with a nice beautiful cut. Hyundai stamp big, letting you know that you are driving a Hyundai. And this beautiful, futuristic front end with no vent. Of course, remember, we're not driving gas engines anymore. It is coming over to the electric and you do not need to see that grill allowing that air to come in, but everything is flat. Metallic silver, beautiful integrated bumper sensors. Metallic silver here on the bottom with a little bit of matte black plastic. A uh, trim or bezel integrated into the lower part of the bumper cover. Take into consideration that it is a little bit more durable, it does take a beating, so down the line will last as you're driving on the car because it's the lower side of the bumper, getting more uh, damage or from rock chips and things of that sort. Continuing over to the side, from the side look, I want you guys to take a look inside the interior side of that headlight. Of course, that wall there, lots of mini squares, pixel look with that integrated marker lighting on the interior side of that headlight. Very cool and a lot of character on the interior side of that headlight. Coming over more to the side or on the driver's side, wheel well trim, matte black plastic, takes a beating, being on the area where the tire is always hitting at the rocks, the water and all that sort, does last a long time and that's very cool, that Hyundai put that on their car. See these nice cuts, giving it more of an aggressive, sportier look, not so boring look on this trim. Now, those rims there are the 19 inch aero rims by color. They are that glossy black look with that machine silver look. Now, different trims are gonna have different rims. So keep an eye out for that. This is SC, they have a SEL and a limited trim. And both of those do come with a rear wheel drive and an all wheel drive option. Continuing over to the side, side mirror, that phantom black paint on top, matte black plastic on the bottom with integrated LED signal lighting and get a load of that little mini characteristic, those small little squares again, looking like little pixels. A lot of character on just the side mirror. Heated, uh, blind sight, assist, uh, top of line mirror, integrated with all the tech, very cool. Get a load of this side. Now, this is why I really like this car and a lot of people think it's weird, but I tend to like it a lot is because Hyundai puts that nice, beautiful cut coming over through the side. Imagine if it was flat, it'd be a whole lot boring and look like every other car. And we're gonna be seeing this on different models also, not just the Hyundai 5, but different Hyundai models, cars that we'll see adding character to the car. Now look at that, flat, integrated handle from that door making it kind of a more sim simple look. By the pushing of that little square on the handle, you will open up and they will pop out, but you can also push it and it closes. Very cool. Down here, matte black plastic silver with the cuts to match the front bezels and again, the matte black plastic lower part, taking the beating being on the lower side of the car. So very cool option to have on this car. Continuing over, tinted windows on the back side windows. There is no moonroof or sunroof on this exact car. Continuing over to the rear end. So what do we see different right that catches the eye is these nice, again, little squares slash pixels 
all over this back end uh, rail or trim, whatever you want to call it. Now this being the tail lights and the signal lights, they are LED and they light up beautiful. With that same finish in the middle, black gloss, small square pixel look, very cool. Ionic 5 in white stamped right there on Hyundai, right above that. Privacy glass, integrated brake lighting, LED on top, integrated into the spoiler. With that spoiler having some cuts here, one on each side, giving you a little bit more sportier look. Continuing down over to the lower part of this rear bumper, metallic silver, finish off on that lower uh, valence piece here with integrated back bumper sensors. Now that does match the front. And that's what I like about Honda is that they really put this car together and it stays consistent. Back, backup camera, of course that black Phantom look, H-Track stamped right here and the integrated red parking lights. Continuing over to this and I wanna show you guys something pretty cool. I already set it up before the video, but by the pushing of these little five pixels right here on this electrical cap cover, of course, it's not gas, right? So we're not flipping up a gas cap, it's an electrical cap. You're gonna push it just like that and it automatically comes up. But also something else that's pretty cool, let me look for my key is, these pixels are to show the level of charge on this car. You also have a close button here, right under that last pixel. And I'm gonna show you, just kind of bring this up. And you're gonna just plug that in. Let's go ahead and take off this cap. Just like that. All right, drop that. And when you wanna pull it out, you're gonna push that button, bring it out just like that and push this cap back on. Let's go ahead and close it. But you also have a button on the key fob to press and hold to open and close that electric cap. All right, so some specs on this exact car. It is the single motor, wheel wheel drive. Comes about 225 horsepower with a 303 mile range. Does come 8.5 hours to charge at 240 volts comes with a 77.4 kilowatt battery and 168 electric or 168 kilowatt electric motor sorry about that but it does come about 98 highway mpge with 132 city with 114 combined you will see different numbers on the all-wheel drive over to the real wheel drive the all-wheel drive does come with 320 horsepower with the dual motor. Now that we're done talking specs, let's go ahead and talk interior of this beautiful 2022 Hyundai Ioniq 5. Let's go. Now sitting on the interior side of this beautiful 2022 Hyundai Ioniq 5, let's talk interior. Get a load of the difference in interiors from a diff regular uh, ordinary car that we see coming over to this very nice, futuristic, updated look on this Ionic 5. What do we see first is this very modern look, futuristic look with these beautiful 12.3 inch screens right in front of us, 12.3 inch cluster screen with the 12.3 inch infotainment screen. Let's go ahead and turn that on so you guys can get an idea of how these screens look. White surrounding those screens with something that is very cool is you think this would look like a little speaker or tweeter right behind this little carpet, but this is a magnetic pad. So if you do want to bring a magnet, I don't know, maybe something to remind you or you wanna start putting up letters to yourself, right here, no longer in the refrigerator at home, but right in your car. Beautiful gray leather look with that flat bottom steering. Now something that is different that Hyundai did is they did not put their stamp on this airbag. Get a load of that. They put those small squares, pixel looks, with a little bit of texture feel, adding some character to the car. Looking over to the door panel, very nice kind of cream offset white look with that gray again. With that texture, adding that kind of modern feel, some character in that door panel with that nice kind of lining or the cuts integrated into that trim. Look at these seats dark gray canvas seats. Now I'm a big fan of this dark gray canvas that we're seeing in a lot of
cars that manufacturers are putting in. Very durable, sturdy, heavy, pretty easy to clean, and some nice, pretty cool bucket seats letting you know that you're sitting in the seat and they are comfortable. Eight-way power adjustable seat on the driver's seat with lumbar support. And on the back side of this seat, you will see again those small squares and the pixel look finishing off even the interior with that theme. Dashboard, very nice, gray, same texture, lines cut, cutting into the dashboard with that metallic silver on the vent um, lining, let's say. Vents, of course, integrated coming down. You do have your uh, dual climate control panel here with the manual buttons to control that infotainment center. Now right above that dual zone temperature control uh, unit here, that is touch sensitive. Right above that is your buttons for that infotainment screen. Now it is touch sensitive, but you also have the manual buttons. Now if I do click on map, Navi or media, it is gonna shoot it on that 12.3 inch screen. But let's go ahead and do the touch sensitive part. You do have your dual info cards or split screen, let's say. Now if I go ahead and push on the right side of the screen, it does bring me up to the map. And of course you have that split info card with your radio. We can close that and make it a full screen. Let's go back home. And if I wanted to click on the left, it gives me the EV part of the screen and it lets me know what's going on with my battery, my percentage life, and my mileage left on that charge. Take a look at that nice little blue and green lane, small little boxes, pixels on that. You could also still open the info card on the right on every screen. Go home and you get all this, EV map, navigation menu, climate, seat warmers that you do have on the two front seats of this car. But for the sake of the time of the video, we're not going to go through every little square. But moving over to the left side, 12.3 inch cluster screen. Now something that is very cool and different on this cluster screen is that you do have three different drive modes and every time you do change the drive mode by this little button here, you're going to get a different setup on your screen. And for the sport, it gives you that little red, giving you more a little sportier look, kind of feel like you're on a racetrack on that front side of the screen. Eco changes it again and comes back to normal, changed again. Now you do have your lane assist system here, of course with your uh, drive and park and all that good stuff, letting you know doors open and so forth. On the steering column, you do have your typical rods with the finished in uh, metallic silver, pretty cool offset. But something else that is very unique and different on this car is the uh, control um, rod that you would change from parking to drive to reverse and this is your gear setting rod which is very cool and different does remind me of Mercedes but the only part that is different is that you do not flick the rod up and down but you would turn the end little silver knob up for drive and down for reverse and if you wanted to go into parking you would push the parking button. So let me know how you feel about that. I'm a big fan of these new rods because it gets rid of a lot of that center console um, shift knob in the middle. Cup holder is pretty deep and wide. You know us Americans, we love our drinks coming after us. 12 volt inlet with your USB-A plug-in, a little bit of cubby space, no center console here, so no bridge, lots of room. Pretty different, pretty unique, giving you that modern feel. Coming over to the center console, a lot of room here with the USB-A plugins. You're not fighting in for plugins with you or the significant other, the wife or the hubby, whatever or whoever's in the car. Nice kind of offset white look with some more cubby space, personal belongings. And to finish off with the steering wheel is that on the steering wheel, you do have a touch sensitive and you have your typical control buttons like lane assist here and all that good stuff, info cards. And on the left, you would have your voice recognition, your modes and your phone calls and all that good stuff. Now that we're pretty much done with the front side interior of this car, let's go ahead and head over to the back. But before we do, finishing off with this, again, typical lighting, very nice LED lighting, nice true light color. Okay guys, now we're done for good on the front side of this interior. Let's go ahead and head over to the back. 
All right, so now on the back side of the 2022 Ionic 5 interior, we do see that nice 60% and 40% back seats. Now these do come down connecting that trunk. So by the control over on the side of the seats, these pop down just like that. And look at all that room. Now let me lean over and pop that one. Just like that. And look at all that room you have here. So if you're heading up uh, to the mountain, you got the all wheel drive and it's snowing up to the mountains. You want to throw some snowboards or some, some skis or you're building a house and you want to throw in your lumber back here. I have no idea why, but just do that. I don't care. Lots of room. You can fit dishwashers and ovens back here. So, but very convenient on that. And I love these kind of back seats that fold down because of that. Let's look at that. Okay. Of course, your typical armrest here with your cup holders. Would have liked to see just a little bit bigger cup holders, but of course, you could fit an Izzy can in there if you have those Izzy cans, I don't know. Or just some bottles. Don't drink and drive, boys or girls. Okay, so USB-A also on the back side of the center console. Let's do a room test. Now, of course, if you've been watching my other videos, I'm about six feet, two inches. Lots of leg room and a lot of head clearance for us. So this car is comfortable on the long road trip. So take that into consideration because a lot of times you will see that certain cars will cut down on these back ends and your head is going to be touching that ceiling, making it more of an uncomfortable drive. Lighting right above you by the push of a button, your oh shiznit handle over to the top left and a door panel that matches the front, so they're not simplifying, keeping that same look from the front over to the back with that kind of nice white or off cream look. Gray on the bottom and your integrated window switch. But guys, we're pretty much done with the interior on this car. Let's go ahead and finish off with the front. I mean the front trunk, ha. All right, so coming over to the trunk now, of course we do not have an engine, but we do have some space for your personal belongings or most people would put their charging equipment here, EV right here on the front. By the lifting of this little handle here, you get some space. Now a lot of people will put their you know, charging kits here or your tire kits, if not in the trunk. But we're pretty much done with this, guys. Now, finishing off with this, guys, thanks so much for watching our channel here at Vagabond Builds and a special, special shout out again to Hyundai here in Roseville, California for providing us with the car for the review. Thanks guys, and stay tuned, we got some pretty cool things coming.